I'm Chef Christy, and I am so glad that you're watching today. To all my subscribers, I just want to say a big thank you. And if you are new to my channel, I share simple and quick and delicious recipes each and every week. So I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, hit the little notification bell right below my video. That way, you will not miss any of the new videos that I'm posting. Now today, I have a delicious breakfast, and it is my baked oatmeal. Oh, it is so, so good. I bake it in the oven, and then you put delicious toppers on it, and I'll show you different options that you can do. And another thing that I really like about this oatmeal is this the versatility that you have with it. You can add um, nuts or dried fruit, anything that you want in this oatmeal and it's so good and it's so healthy for you so I hope that you give it a try so let's get started okay I want to quickly go over, over these ingredients with you you just use the old-fashioned oats and to this I have milk and eggs baking powder sugar and then I use an applesauce that I've canned and um, a little bit of vanilla extract, cinnamon, and salt. Now the options are, I like to put chia seeds in mine, but you could put any kind of nuts, whether it's walnut, almonds, pecans, uh, and you could also add raisins or uh, cranberries if you like. Anything like that would be really, really good in this. But this is what I'm going to do today. Okay, so to my oats, I'm going to add sugar, my chia seeds, baking powder, salt, cinnamon. All right, then I'm going to stir this together. And I've actually reduced the amount of sugar that the recipe uh, called for because I have sugar in my applesauce. All right, so to this, I'm going to add my milk. Two thirds of a cup of applesauce. This is a chunky applesauce. It's got some big chunks of apples, which I like. All right. And I also like this because this is another one of those just dump everything in and go. And then I've got two eggs. So I'm just going to mix all this together. I about forgot my vanilla extract. Just about a teaspoon. Okay, to a greased 9 by 13 pan, I'm just going to pour my oatmeal in. Now, I actually doubled this recipe um, so that it will go into a 9 by 13. The other, the other way is just an eight by eight square pan, but it's just never enough. But I'll leave the, the recipe in the description box below. All right, so I'm just gonna spread this out. Then I'm gonna put it in an oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so while my oatmeal is baking, I'm gonna make a quick mixed berry a compote and that I'm just using some frozen berries and then to that I'm gonna add just a fourth of a cup of sugar and then I have some cornstarch and water turn the fire on and then I'm going to squeeze, I'm going to use a lime, but you can use lemon as well. It's just I had a lime in my, my refrigerator that needed to be used. So I'm just going to juice one lime because it's a small lime. But 
you could use a lemon, just about maybe one or two tablespoons of the juice. And then I'm just gonna let this cook until the all the berries get softened, but I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't take very long. As soon as you start to see it get thick, you can take it off. And then I'm gonna place this right back into the bowl that my fruit was in. And then you have a delicious fruit topping, a mixed berry fruit topping. Okay, so I baked my oatmeal for 25 minutes at 350, just until you can tell that it's nice and firm. And then I've got my berry compote, applesauce, and this is a Greek yogurt that I've just blended a little bit of honey in. It's a vanilla Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna show you how to put this delicious oatmeal together. Okay, I'm so excited to share this oatmeal recipe with you because it is so good. And then all you're gonna do is just cut it into squares. So I'm gonna cut myself a nice square. And here's another thing that I really like about this oatmeal. If you wanted to reduce the sugar, you could just um, use a sugar substitute if you like. Um, you don't have to use the, the amount of sugar. It's completely up to you. So I've got, cut myself a slice and it kind of holds together sort of like a cake. And then I'm going to take some of this berry this mixed berry compote and put right on top. And this has got blackberries and blueberries, strawberries. Mm. And then I'm going to take some yogurt and put on top of this. And then just because I like crunch, well, I'm gonna sprinkle some walnuts right on top of mine. And that is delicious. Now, another option is I had a little bit left of my strawberry and chia seed jam. You could use that as well. That is a lot less sugar. It's completely up to you. That's what I really, really liked about this baked oatmeal, but we've got to try it. All right. Mm. What a delicious breakfast. And it's, it almost tastes like a dessert, but it is so good for you. With the oatmeal, the Greek yogurt adds the protein. Mm. Delicious. I really, really hope that you try this. I've enjoyed showing you this recipe. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you.